De regreso aquí en Auto 060, esta edición especial del viaje a Brasil y ahora vamos a hablar con Nicolai Laude, el director de comunicaciones de Volkswagen Sports para todo el mundo. So here in uh, Brazil with Nicolai, uh, Nicolai Laude, uh, head of communication for Volkswagen Sports, which it's a, it's a big, a big enterprise within a company that produces cars, right? That's true, that's true. I'm probably one of the guys who, is, uh, who has the biggest distance uh, to the products we, we sell. Uh, that's possible, yeah, because sports and cars Uh, outside of motorsports do not have much in, in common naturally. Yeah. And Volkswagen, I don't know, it's never been like in Formula One or anything like that. Like I don't know if there's ever been in, in motorsports. Yes, they are actually. We are very doing very well, well in, in rally, the, in yeah, the rally, rally sports. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are the, the world champion and, and currently uh, won, eight, I think, eight times now in a row with yeah. Volkswagen cars with the race polo. But outside of motorsports, of course, the, the setup, the mind setup, not as close to yeah. motor so and automotive the, the industry. The people's cars is for the people's the people's sport, so soccer and we're in Brazil. Exactly. And you are here in Brazil, you're sponsor for the national selection. Yes, we are sponsor of the national team. We are very proud of that. Uh, besides this, we have uh, altogether six uh, brand ambassadors, uh, which are former or actual current players of the Selecao. We have great names like Pelé, like Rivellino, like Rai, Cafu, Lucas and um, The, the most prominent one probably at the moment, um, Neymar. Yeah. They are all uh, Volkswagen ambassadors and together with, with the sponsorship of the Celesao, um, we are very prominent, uh, visible here in Brazil in football. So it must be a little bit, uh, you, your heart must be a little bit turned, uh, <laughs> being German, being in Brazil, have this sponsorship, so how do you separate business from uh, your passion for soccer, which I, I'm, I'm sure is pretty strong too? Um, first of all, I'm lucky because we have so many sponsorship properties in football uh, <laughs> that, al <laughs> that almost every weekend <laughs> at least one of you our win. teams will win, exactly. <laughs> so, um, and b before it, uh, I started this job here, I wasn't a fan of a particular team or a national team, club team, doesn't matter, and that's still the case. Maybe so that was a job requirement, right? <laughs> uh, probably, probably, yes, yes, that's true. No, but uh, in general, I'm, I'm a big uh, fan football and sports fan, so I love all kinds of sports. Uh, we were um, at the Olympics, at the Winter Olympics and Summer Olympics uh, uh, for a couple of occasions. And um, yes, sports in general is one of the things Volkswagen is, is very much supporting all over the world. So the particular connection between uh, soccer and Volkswagen started obviously at Wolfsburg, right? Uh, right, I mean, at the very beginning of, of, of days, I guess. Yes, of course. I mean, um, the Vauvel Wolfsburg, which is now owned uh, by the company, by Volkswagen, is, is probably the starting point. The, the club, um, the sports club with a football division, was founded uh, right after the Second World War. And from that time on, uh, the partnership between uh, Volkswagen, the um, company, the brand and the club uh, is, was growing um, every decade and from this point, yes, you can say, is, is, is uh, everything else following. And then uh, you have a, a, almost like a formula to get uh, into a sponsorship with the uh, different teams, like for example you were mentioning in your presentation that one is location, like for example in Puebla with the Puebla uh, soccer team, in the US Chattanooga, you know, the Chattanooga there's no soccer there, <laughs> but you sponsor the cycling team there because there's like a, a local connection to that. Yeah, we have, we have different approaches in our sponsorship activities. One is always the local um, um, touch as, as I would say um, when it's related to our um, Volkswagen plans of fabric sites, uh, production sites um, like in Chattanooga with cycling, like in Wolfsburg with football or like you mentioned it in Puebla with football so this is one point. The other point is always the responsibility for the people you yeah, have uh, The, the word which pro which describes uh, the best is is um, good citizenship. Yeah. Yeah, of course, uh, we try to to give something back to the people. In sport, for a lot of people, is is a very important uh, thing they do. They they are passionate about, no matter if they follow it on television or they do it themselves. And the third uh, uh, aspect is the marketing and and sales related approach to sponsorships, um, which is probably uh, most visible in, in certain football uh, sponsorships because when the logo is on the shirt and, and yeah. uh, it's visible on screen during the matches in the arena and on TV uh, it's quite obvious that uh, this is a different approach compared to 
uh, the other the social product that you responsibility. Do. Exactly. Once. When yeah. you help, I like you do it because you know it's it's the right thing to do. Yeah. Well, Nicola, thank you very much for having us here in Brazil, and we're going to hear now from your colleague local here in Brazil, because there's a lot going on, obviously, not only with the national team, but with the local teams too, right? That's true. We have we have a strong uh, footprint here in football in Brazil, and uh, facing the upcoming World Cup, it's it's getting more even more attractive. And I think um, what my colleague will introduce you to is, is uh, something very interesting, and um, I'm looking forward to that. Excellent. So I'm not going to ask you for a prediction for the World Cup. So no, <laughs> I'm just uh, say good luck. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.